What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of, whoa, Name Change Apologetically Christian. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr., and this is season three, episode one, and it's not some other stuff. Like, the name has changed. I'm going to tell you why. Like, let me just even go ahead and get this out of the way, because that's what this episode is all about. However, where I was, I was in service, like, praising, worshiping on Sunday. Shouts out to my church. For Village Youth Ministries, RTM Nation. If you're ever in Tampa, Florida, you should come. I'm telling you, it's everything that you want and then some. However, I was in worship and God was just talking to me like, I'm in worship. You know how you in worship and the worship music is playing. You sing it, but you also hear it at the same time. And God is like talking to you. Well, I was in that moment and God was just saying unapologetically Christian. Like, I'm like, what, what, what do I do with it? Like, unapologetically Christian, like, what? What is that? God was like, that's the name for the podcast. And I'm like, like, what? Like, what What do I do with that? And I'm, oh, I was open to it because I was uh, going through different name changes. Like, I legitimately was thinking about changing it to um, One Step United, actually, which is something that my wife and I are doing, um, helping people do what's on the inside of them, taking one step at a time. But more than anything, I was like, I threw it at Crystal. Crystal was like, nah, I babe, like you done changed the name before. You probably just want to keep it what it is. Like just keep it at Ricky Jones to your podcast. However, in the midst of worship, God was like unapologetically Christian. I was like, whoa. First of all, I had to go look up the word. So I, I well, actually what I did was I threw it at one of my homies at, at the end of service and just like, hey, man, I'm about to cheat. He was telling somebody about the podcast. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm about to change the name. He was like, oh, yeah, what? What's the name of it? I was like, unapologetically Christian. And he just looked at me like, oh, okay, okay. And I expect that, right? I expect that because I don't even know what all will come about with this. But while God shared with me the name change, he also shared with me how there are a lot of Christians that are living in the dark, living silently because they don't want to expose who they are. Because in this world, it kind of has a bad rap to be a Christian in some circles, some communities and within some like groups and organizations. However, we as a body of Christ, we as believers, we as those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord in our life have to start stepping up, have to start saying what thus says the Lord and have to start being vocal about our release, start being vocal about the way we see things, being vocal about our testimony, being vocal about our journey and not being in the shadow of what is happening in this world. But no, we have the ability to make changes. We do. Yes, we do. As Jesus did, so are we in this world. So God was just showing me how people will be set free. People will get the confidence and motivation back within themselves to know that, nah, like, it's cool to be a Christian. I'm okay to be a Christian. Like, I don't have to hide who I am, suppress who I am, shadow my beliefs, or live in somebody else's shadow because what I believe may not be a popular opinion. Like, no. You believe what you believe because of who you believe. You do what you do because who you believe. You are the way you are because of the example that was set before you by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Like, don't hold back. Don't hide behind the curtains. Don't hide behind the doors. Don't hide in the closet. Whatever you hiding, come out. And I'm saying that not only to you, but I'm saying it to myself because I have been in rooms. I have been in places where I knew and I know I should have stepped out boldly about who I am, what I believe, and why I do what I do the way I do. And maybe you, <laughs> you may want some of this too. However, I just said, well, hey, you know, I am who I am. They are who they are. So I'm going to just let them be. Well, no, like it's okay to share the goodness of God and even to share why you are good, to share why you are the way you are, to explain your journey. Like oftentimes too, we as Christians do get a bad rap because we have presented some, let me say it this way, some have presented Christians as those who are perfect people. Well, no, we are imperfect people that are serving a perfect God that lives on the inside of us that desires to make us perfect each and every day. But it's a journey and it's not anything that you will accomplish on this earth in this world. Let me just go ahead and say that right now. Like perfection is not something that you will achieve while here in this world, but it will be something that we get to achieve. We get to experience and we get to walk in when we do get to heaven. So know that it's further. It's to come. However, we as Christians living in this world, we 
are going to make mistakes. We do make mistakes. Y'all have seen our mistakes as Christians, both in the tabloids and on TV. But there are some that are happening behind closed doors that you may or may not ever know about. I'm saying all that to say, but being in Christ, we have the ability to make a change. We have the ability to get things right. We have the ability to, yes, mess up, but then know that better is available and strive to make that better if that's your choice right some believers just become christians and they, they're like hey man i don't have to go to hell so i'm good to go like i'm gonna just live life the way i feel as long as i don't go to hell i'm good to go but where i am and uh, with this podcast i don't know like we legitimately will be taking a faith walk together which is so cool because in real life, which is not podcasts that real life, but in real life, my family and I, we are taking faith moves. We are living by faith, like for real, for real. Like it was one thing to say, you know, you live by faith, but your bills are getting paid on time. Money is rolling in the bank. You have a little extra to do a little some, some here and there. However, yes, bills are still getting paid in our household. However, we are living by faith because God told us some bold things to do in 2023. One being his name of this podcast change and other being things in our lives. And we're having to walk out that in faith. So you all are front row seats of what faith walking looks like. Faith talking looks like hearing and doing what thus says the Lord. And I'm excited. I really am because truth be told, like I've been wanting to talk more about like Christian stuff, like maybe even like church stuff and biblical stuff. However, like if I was just to be honest with you all, which I mean, we're, we're here for like I'm unapologetically Christian, which unapologetic means without fault or without shame or without regret. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like not holding fault, not having with regret, not having shame. I don't have shame on my Christianity. I don't. I walk around a gym bowl, you know what I'm saying? Like I do. And uh, I don't have any regrets. I know it was one of the greatest decisions that I have made because it has led to the furthering decisions in life from marrying my wife, from going to different schools, from moving to where I'm moving to going to where I'm going. It's all because of who I am in Christ and my Christian journey, a Christian walk. So I have no regrets in accepting Jesus in my life. And those who have accepted Jesus as well, I'm sure you have testimony upon testimony, words upon word, experiences upon experiences, times upon time that you can say, thank God I'm a believer. Thank God I follow Christ. Thank God Christ is in me. Christ is for me. Christ is with me. Christ has came before me and therefore all is well. But I was saying before, you know, we here, you know what I'm saying? This is like the, the beginning of something special. So we here, I'm just flowing with what thus says the Lord. Usually I write like little notes about what I want to talk about and things I want to say, but y'all, y'all just get in it as it comes. However, what I was saying was prior to this moment, I before wanted to talk about more Jesus, wanted to talk about more Christ. However, I had the idea that if I spoke that talk, talked that talk, spoke those words, I, I just I wouldn't get placed. Right. I, I felt like, you know, hey, the Christian space is is wrapped up on Sunday. Like people don't want to hear about this type of stuff on podcasts. But I started like not that, you know, what I'm saying like I'm not taking no credit for nothing. However, I started paying attention to other podcasts. And I'm like, man, like it's a lot of stuff being put out there. But what, what's up with the Christian boys? Like who are here for the Christian people so that the Christian people can have something to talk about, something to listen to, somewhere to grow from. You know what I'm saying? Like I do see people like shouts out to Myron Golden. He is not a podcaster, but he does have a YouTube channel, business owner and all that good stuff, doing great work. Um, shouts out to the basement like that is a phenomenal podcast truth be told it has given me the now boldness and the confidence to say it can work it will work why because God said it and I can be bold and have the authority with thus says the Lord and let God just order my steps let God light my path let God do what God wants to do with this space because it all is for God at the end of the day I I, I named it Ricky Jones Jr. Podcast just because I didn't have any other name and I know I just want to be free to talk about whatever I want to talk about but let me not make you all think I'll set it that way because I wanted to build something for myself. Like, no, what I build is for God. What I build is because of God. And now I'm walking in it unapologetically. And I just see it on shirts. I see it on billboards. I see it on stickers. I see people just walk on mugs. I see people just walking around unapologetically Christian like, 
It should be no question. I am the way I am because I am a Christian. I do what I do because I am a Christian. I don't go certain places or I don't do certain things because I am a Christian. Like, And I'm not saying there are a list of things that you should not do. Don't go places you don't go, things like that. No, 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 no. But you know for yourself why you do what you do, why you don't do what you do. And it's because of your Christianity. It's because of your relationship with God. Like that's where I'm at. So if you wonder what I believe, right? I believe in a relationship with God. I do not believe in religion. I do not believe that there is freedom. I don't believe that there is Christ in religion, right? Because whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Therefore, there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I say that to say, I believe that religion, as I've experienced it, has had a way of holding one back holding people in bodies, telling them what to do, what not to do broadly without allowing people to have a relationship with God personally, which I believe that Christ died for all and Holy Spirit is on the inside of all who believe. Therefore, with Holy Spirit on the inside of you, you have that comforter. John 14, 26, you have that comforter. You have that one that goes before you. You have the mediator. You have the one that is hearing from God, sharing what thus says the Lord to those that are listening. So in that, we have a relationship with God. Therefore, we can walk around boldly and do what we do, knowing who's with us, knowing who's in us, knowing who's for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's good and golden. So I believe in having a relationship with God. I don't believe in making blanket statements on what you can do, what you cannot do, because I cannot say who you are or what God has for you or where you even came from. Because a lot of people don't come to Christ because of their past. And people have these blanket statements of what you cannot do and what you can do. And therefore you eliminate some. But God came for all. That all might be saved. And when we in Christ, the rest takes care of itself. You know what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't take a shower. You wouldn't go take a wash up before getting a shower and say, I'm trying to get clean. Like, no, you get in the shower to get clean. Therefore, I say that to say, don't try to clean up who you are. Get everything right before coming to Christ, because being in Christ is going to make you a new creature. All things will pass away because all things shall become new. All things will become new. And that's so, so good. Right. But, you know, I can go on and on and on and on. However, I'm saying all this to say unapologetically Christian is a thing. It's a thing that will reach the world. It's a thing that will reach people. It's a thing that's going to benefit those. It's going to benefit me. It's going to benefit the conversations that we have, the people that we come in contact with. It's going to be awesome. Tim Ross, thank you, sir. Thank you. I shouted out the basement, but I want to specifically say your name. Now you're, you're still a pastor, I believe. Pastor Tim Ross. Tim Ross, thank you, sir. Thank you for going before me and allowing for you uh, to do what you did and to walk out boldly in who God has called you to be. And it has reignited the voice that I have, right? Um, to not only be a believer, but to be one that ministers the gospel and shares it with others, shining light and love with those that I come in contact with. Like, that is my purpose. That is my joy. That brings me joy. And so I believe that this podcast is going to do great, great things just as you have, sir. And so, again, thank you. Salute you. Uh, one day we'll be able to talk face to face and uh, I'll be able to give you your roses in person, uh, literally and uh, vocally. But in it all with it, all great people, the name has changed. Be on the lookout for what's to come and uh, make sure I change all the different um all the badges and all those things, you'll see my face come down and something else goes up. We're going to work on all of that good stuff. So definitely, definitely, definitely tap in, tune in and share with a family, friend, a loved one that you know is a believer. However, their light's not shining how bright it should be. And we are going to make sure that those who are believers are unapologetically Christian. All right, great people. I love y'all. Y'all really, 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 I really, really do. I'm excited about all that's to come. Till then.